Visual Studio is the development environment from Microsoft. And the C Sharp integration with Visual Studio is, we think, the best one. The thing is that if you're already using Visual Studio with Unity today, without Unity VS, there's a few uh, problems in the current integration. The first problem is that by using Visual Studio right now without Unity VS, you're targeting Microsoft.NET and not Unity. Whereas Unity has its own set of class library, which means that in Visual Studio you can write code that targets .NET functions that do not exist in Unity. And Visual Studio will not tell you this. You will, always you will just find that in Unity when it doesn't compile. Another issue is that Visual Studio and Unity have a very different concept of what a project is. In Unity, you just create scripts. You add them to folders. And in Visual Studio, it's something which is completely different. In Visual Studio, you are mono-developed. You need to have projects. You need to have projects that are per language. Or in the case of Unity, you need to have projects for scripts that are complementing the editor. You need to have a project for script for game. And you can also have a project for plugins. So Visual Studio and Unity have a very different uh, rules for projects. And the two programs do not communicate with each other. They're standalone programs, and they're not in integrated. They're completely separate. Um, obviously, the biggest thing that people miss when they're writing C Sharp code with Visual Studio for Unity today is that there is no debugger which makes it sometimes hard for you to find the bugs and you have to find strategies like using call to debug log to see what's wrong in your code. Obviously, using a debugger makes you a lot more productive. You find bugs easier and in the end, you rate your game uh, with a much better quality with less bugs. So let's talk about Unity VS because Obviously, all those issues that I mentioned, that exactly what Unity VS is about, we're trying to address those issues to make it so that if you're already familiar with Visual Studio, or even if you're discovering it, you feel right at home writing Unity games with Visual Studio in C Sharp. So let's talk about Unity VS and see all the features that Unity VS provides. The first one is the Unity Project Explorer. As I was saying, there is a mismatch between how Unity and Visual Studio Mono Develop view a project. So for instance, let's go back to Mono Develop. So this is Mono Develop that comes uh, with Unity and we loaded Angry Boats. As you can see on the left, those are all the generated projects for Angry Boats. So you have project in C Sharp, you have project in Unity Script, you have different projects whether you're writing game code or editor scripts. And as a result of that, it's sometimes very difficult to find your scripts because you don't know in which project to, to search. So one of the things we did in Unity VS to address this is to create our own Unity Project Explorer that you get inside Visual Studio. And it shows you the exact same hierarchy that you have in Unity, but inside Visual Studio. So it's much easier to find your script. Just as any tree view showing a hierarchy, you can create scripts, you can delete them, you can rename them. And the advantage of creating and modifying scripts from Visual Studio is that Visual Studio will take the changes into account automatically so that it doesn't have to reload the solution all the time. Whereas if you're creating scripts in Unity whenever 
you go back to Visual Studio, you have to reload the solution to take the changes into account. So this is the Unity Project Explorer. You have the view of your script. You can even go into classes and see the methods, which make it very convenient to find all the details of your scripts directly from the Unity Project Explorer. So let's hide that a bit. Let's move on with the next feature. You're all familiar with the Unity console here, and you can write items or messages in the Unity console by using debug log, log warning, log error. But when you're writing code, you don't have access to this Unity console. It's, that it's inside Unity. You don't have it from Mono Develop or Visual Studio. So what Unity VS does is that it shares the Unity console with Visual Studio. So you have access to the Unity console in Visual Studio and you, and you don't have to switch between tools back and forth to see the messages. Let's see how that works. So for instance, in Unity, if I start the game, I get messages written in the Unity console. And I have them right here in Visual Studio. And I can click on the items to go directly where the debug log has been called, which makes it very easy to follow the timeline of your game when you're logging things in the console. You have that directly from Visual Studio. Let's move on to the next feature. So from the poll I did at the beginning, it's obvious that the vast majority of you are using C Sharp. But as I was saying, some of you are still writing Unity script, some of you are still writing Boo. The standards asset in Unity are currently written in Unity script. AngryBot itself is written in Unity script. And you can purchase scripts on the asset store, either written in Boo or Unity script. Which is where we decided to implement basic support for those languages in Visual Studio. So for instance, this is uh, AngryBot loaded in Visual Studio and displaying Unity scripts. So obviously, the quality of the Unity script and Boo integration is not necessarily as good as C-sharp, but it can already get you pretty far. And at least, even if you're mainly writing C-sharp, if you have to read Unity script, it's much easier to do it with Unity VS because then you get code coloration and it gets much easier to find, well, to read the code. Another feature that Unity VS provides is wizards. Because when you're writing Unity scripts, in the end, when you're creating mono behaviors, you always end up writing the same functions, right? You're writing start, you're writing update, and some of the functions are more complex than the other, on mass enter, on mass exit. And if you make the slightest mistake in the way it is written, Unity won't tell you, but it just won't execute uh, the mono behavior function, which is why we created the scripting wizards. They work with all Unity languages, and let me show you how they work. For instance, this is Unity script. I just press a shortcut, and I have my mono behavior wizard. So let's say, for instance, that I want to implement on most enter and on most exit, I just have to check them. I can limit the number of mono behaviors depending on the API version of Unity that I target. In this case, I'm using Unity for three. And let's impl implement them. And I have on most enter and on most exit, which makes it uh, very easy for me to write my mono behaviors. Obviously, this works in C Sharp too. But uh, it can take some time to check those boxes 
So we have a quick version of those wizards where I can simply say, oh, on mouse, over. And I have on mouse over, which makes it even more easier to write mono behaviors. As I was saying, they work with all Unity languages, Boo, Unity Script, and C Sharp. Another thing we did is that we completely integrated the Unity documentation with Visual Studio, which makes it for you uh, much easier if uh, you need to find, well, what's, what something is about in Unity. So for instance, I'm reading Angry Birds, and I want to learn about rigid body. What does a rigid body do? What are the functions? So I simply have to invoke the Unity API reference, and I get the Unity documentation straight into my development environment. Another thing we did about the documentation is that we extract it from Unity and we send it to Visual Studio's IntelliSense. So I can simply over with my mouse types or methods and I get directly the documentation for that, directly into Visual Studio. So for instance, here, a mono behavior. What is mono behavior? Mono behavior is a base class that every script derives from. Or what is set active? It activates or it deactivates the game object, which makes it a lot easier to read code written for Unity. And obviously, the biggest feature that we worked on is debugging. Unity VS gives you the ability to debug Visual Studio from Visual Studio your Unity games very easily. Currently, it's just a matter of pressing F5. As soon as you press F5, Visual Studio will attach the debugger to the Unity editor. At that point, you can debug editor scripts if you're writing your own editor scripts to augment Unity. And you can also debug your game script. Another thing that we support and that has been required by a lot of customers is the ability to debug external DLLs. I know that a lot of you and a lot of customers are extracting code from their Unity project into different class libraries because they want to share this code between different projects. And Unity VS gives you the ability to debug those uh, external DLLs that you created from Visual Studio. What we did was to basically implement a custom debugger for Visual Studio, which means that we're simply plugging into the existing Visual Studio debugger. The goal is that all the, mess, all the windows that are in Visual Studio and that you're already familiar with for having written C Sharp, you will have exactly the same to write and to debug Unity Unity games. So let's see how it works. So this is Angry Boats. As I was saying, we simply have to press F5 to attach the debugger to Unity. At that point in time, the debugger is already attached. So I can debug editor scripts. For instance, Angry Boats as editor script, for instance, to check that uh, shaders are, va are valid. So let's I put a breakpoint in this. And here I am. I'm in Visual Studio and I'm debugging my editor scripts. As you can see on the side, I even reference one of the libraries that I wrote. In that case, unit library. It has one tip, one type, with one method. And I'm calling this type from my editor script. Oh, and by the way, I hope you noticed that uh, we have a comment in Korean. And Visual Studio supports that just fine. So what I'm doing here 
is that I'm creating a new instance of this type which is declared in a, in a library and I can simply debug it. So for instance, I press F11, I step into my third part, my library, I have my local variables, yeah, I can even invoke methods, I have access to the call stack, I can use my mouse to over variables and see what they're like, what their values. And I can simply debug my game as you would debug any C sharp program from Visual Studio. So let's press continue. And I'm having a debug log. So this is debugging of an editor script. What happens if I want to debug the game? Well, I simply have to run it. I run my game, and in the Angry Birds code, I put a breakpoint when uh, a spider explodes. So let's find a spider. Here's one. Let's shoot it, and let's wait until it explodes. And it exploded. So my breakpoint has been hit. I can, again, debug, step. I have my local variables. I can even change values. So for instance, let me change uh, the amount of damage that a spider does. Here it's 20, so let's say 2,000. So what will happen is that the spider will be much more powerful and I'm pretty sure it will automatically kill me and I just have to restart my game. So this is how you debug a game. You simply have to attach the debugger, put your breakpoints and run it. And it will work the way you expect Visual Studio to work in terms of debugging. So, oh, another thing that uh, we support are conditional breakpoints. So let's go back to my code. So I have a piece of code here where I de declare an integer. I put a breakpoint and I want to break only, let's say, oh, I want to break only if i is less than 10. All right, I have a conditional breakpoint. So what happens is that if I run that, it should not hit the breakpoint, right? So let's try. And yes, nothing happens. So what happens if I change my condition and say, oh, break if i is bigger than 10, which should be the case because it's 12. And there we are. We hit the breakpoint. We support conditional breakpoints. So let's continue. Let's detach the debugger. All right. And go back to the slides. As you've just seen, we really worked hard to make sure that the complexity of debugging Unity is completely hidden from you. Everything happens behind the scene, but we completely implemented a new debugger in Visual Studio so that you can very easily debug your game the way you would expect any c -sharp program to work and to be debugged in Visual Studio. So you, as a developer, can reuse the skills, the debugging skills that you add after writing C sharp code in Visual Studio. Another feature we support, as you've seen, you can very easily debug the Unity editor. So while you're writing your game, you can see how your scripts are behaving. You can change variables, you can, you can inspect the state of your program, and you can see where the bugs are, which makes a very fast workflow to write and debug your game. You can attach the game very easily, as you've seen. You can see what's wrong. And as soon as 
you know what's wrong. You can detach the debugger, modify the script, and run it into the Unity editor, which is the strength of Unity, this ability to quickly iterate. That being said, when you create a game for Unity, be it an Android game, a web game, an iOS game, well, every now and then, you have to write specific pieces of code for each platform. And you want to be able to debug that. So we added uh, support for this into Visual Studio. The way it works is that when you build a Unity player, let me show you all. You just have to say file, build setting. You check development build, and you check script debugging. And as soon as you do that, the Unity player with your game will broadcast, well, we use, we'll use UDP multicast to say where it is. And as long as the player is on the same network as your Visual Studio machine, you can simply attach the debugger to your player and see exactly what is going on while the game is running, even if it's on an Android player. We support all kind of players as long as uh, they can have this script debugging uh, option, which means that you can debug iOS game, Android game, web, standalone, and even on console, as long as they support script debugging. And everything that I demonstrated here is available today in Unity VS 1.8. You, to purchase Unity VS, you simply have to go to a website. We're not on the asset store. We have our custom website and everything is on unityvs.com. We even have a simplified version of our website which has been translated to Korean. We have a free trial on our website because we want you to give it a try and to see how it works and to see if it works for you. As I said, the trial is completely free. It works for two weeks and you get access to all the features of Unity VS so that you can try it directly on your project and hopefully get addicted. We have two kind of licenses for Unity VS. The first one is for individuals and small companies with less than four employees, which is $99. We're really here uh, trying to provide a version at a low price for very small companies that are uh, trying to work on their game. And we have a version for every other company, which is $249 uh, per developer seat. So obviously this is only for Unity VS for the plugin, and you still need to have Visual Studio. We support Visual Studio 2010, 2012, and 2013 and you need to have at least the pro version of Visual Studio. I'm afraid that today you cannot use Visual Studio Express with Unity VS because Visual Studio doesn't allow commercial plugins into Express. So you need to have at least the pro version. When you purchase Unity VS, the license you get will never expire. It will always work. When you purchase Unity VS, you get a subscription for product updates of one year, which means that you will always be able to use the, the, the last version you downloaded during your subscription with your license. And if after a year you want to renew your subscription for product updates, you will be able to get it at a discounted price, which is $49 for the personal version and 149 for the pro version. So what are we working on next? We're already hard at work on Unity VS 2.0. One of the features we're working on is code coloration for shaders. Are any of you writing shaders for Unity? Yes, all right. 
another thing we're working on is the ability to launch the game at the same time as you want to attach the debugger. Because currently, as I demonstrated, it's a two-step operation. You attach the debugger and you start the game. But I know that many of you are only interested in the game. Not all of you are writing editor scripts. So you want a workflow which is as fast as possible, which is why we created this option to give you the ability to attach the debugger and start the game at the same time. Let's see how it works. So this is a preview of Unity VS 2.0. And I simply have to change attach to Unity to attach to Unity and play. I simply have to press F5. And inside Unity, oh, where's Unity? And inside Unity, the game already started and the debugger is attached. So everything that I demonstrated already will work. And on top of that, as soon as I stop debugging, it will stop my game and I can start, well, fixing the code that I uh, analyzed during the debugging session. Because the vast majority of you are using C Sharp, we created an option in Unity VS 2.0 to only generate C Sharp projects so that the solution will load much faster. Another thing we wo we're working on, and this has been already asked today as our booth, is the ability to debug a remote Unity uh, editor. Typically, the scenario that people are interested in is the ability to run Unity on a Mac and Visual Studio in a virtual machine, such as Parallels or VMware Fusion on the Mac, and the ability to work on the game from the virtual machine in Visual Studio while keeping Unity running on a Mac. So this is something that we're working on that we want to have in Unity VS 2.0. And you can already try this feature in Unity VS 1.8, even though it's a preview feature and it's not completely supported because some of the things don't work, but you can at least already try it today. Another thing we wanted to say is that we're really impressed, us, as a small French company, but by what you guys are doing in terms of games especially with Unity. When we look at uh, the sales of Unity VS, it looks like this. The US are the majority of our sales, and right after, before Germany, before the UK, and before any other country but the US is South Korea. So again, we're very impressed, and thank you very much. So this is everything I have today. Everything is available online on unityvs.com. This URL is for the simplified version of our website in Korean. We have a booth uh, in the silver section. So if you, and we have a translator there which speaks Korean and English. So if you have any question, even in Korean, you can visit us on our booth and we'll make uh, our best to answer it. Thank you very much. I think we have a good 10 minutes for questions. Yes, there's a question, there's a question there. Oh. So, how does this work? How does this work? It works. Go ahead. Go ahead. 예, 저는 한국에서는 흔치 않은 부 언어를 사용하고 있는 개발자입니다. Unity VS의 향후 부 언어에 대한 지원 방향이라든가 아니면 어, Unity VS 개발사로서 부 언어의 Unity에서의 전체적인 점유율이라고 해야 되나 그런 거에 대한 정보를 공유해 주셨으면 좋겠습니다. 
향후 부 언어에 대한 점유율이 조금 궁금하거든요. 알라이트. So what we see is that it is indeed uh, a very unique usage. We have we see very low people using boo. Most of the Unity developers are um, standardizing on C Sharp. So the support we have for Boo is very basic because we're uh, focusing on, engineer on e our engineering on the features that uh, are most important to most of our customers. That's how we prioritize our work. So I'm afraid that Boo is because of the very low number of people using it quite low in our priorities. So as I said, the support we have is very basic. If you want to see it live, uh, please come by your booth. But uh, as your question included like projection, yeah, my personal opinion is that uh, Unity developers are standardizing on, on C Sharp. And that's the best way to reach as many Unity developers as possible. Does this answer your question? Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah, thank you. Ah, uh, Unity vs. 좋은 프로그램인 것 같은데요. 어, 제가 그할때 디버깅을 할때 아까 말씀하시기로는 네, 같은 네트워크 상에 있을 때 같은 네트워크 상에 있는 모바일 기기는 어, 실시간으로 디버깅이 가능하다고 하셨는데 어, 혹시 동시에 여러 개의 기기를 yes. 디버깅하는 기능이 있는지 혹시 앞으로 그런 걸 만드실 계획은 혹시 있으신지 궁금합니다. Oh, that's a very good question indeed. All right. So, actually, you're the first one to ask about this. <laughs> so, no, currently we don't have plans to support this. Uh, we're only focusing on one device at a time. But uh, what kind of devices would you want to debug simultaneously? 예를 들어 같은 안드로이드 모바일 기기라고 하더라도 그 기기별로 특성이 많이 있기 때문에 뭐 어떤 특정 기기에서만 특정 버그가 발생한다든지 하는 경우도 혹시 있기 때문에 코드상에서 미연에 방지할 수 있는 그런 방안이 있을까 해서 하나의 어 에디터 혹시 하나의 컴퓨터에서 여러 개의 모바일 기기를 한 번에 테스트할 수 있는 그런 기능이 좀 필요하거든요. All right. Yes. So, no, currently you cannot attach the debugger to multiple devices at the same time. So you will have to do it uh, sequentially and not uh, at the same time. And to be honest, I don't think that uh, that's something we want to do right now because it would uh, require quite a big investment in terms of engineering. But uh, that's something that uh, we could include in our roadmap uh, for the future. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, 안녕하세요. 어, 어, 저 기존에 비주얼 스튜디오를 사용했었을 때 메모리 덤프 같은 걸 사용한 적이 있는데 어, 지금 저는 MFC 개발할 때 그런 걸 많이 썼었거든요. 왜냐하면 고객이 장비에서 어떤 일이 일어나는지 모르니까 메모리로 덤프를 뜨고 심볼로 분석을 하는 거. 혹시 이런 기능을 지원하시는지 아니면 지원할 계획이 있는지 궁금합니다. That's a good question. Currently, that's something that we do not support because in the end, the Unity scripting engine that we connect to uh, doesn't support. There is uh, a few features that we that we in Unity VS cannot support because the Unity 
engine and the Unity scripting engine uh, do not support those. One of them is memory dumps. Another one is uh, edit and continue. And there's a f or another one is the ability to set uh, where is the instruction pointer. So that are things that right now we cannot support, but as soon as the Unity engine and the Unity scripting engine support them, we will add support for them. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I think we're good. And if you have any question, please come by your booth. Thank you very much. <laughs>